Sophie, good evening. How can I help you? Hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, my question is just around um, an out-of-time claim in an um, employment tribunal. So I've, just to give you some context, I've taken my previous employers to an employment tribunal for um, disability discrimination and failure to make reasonable adjustments. But the claim was about, I think there was like five months over the three-month time limit. Um, and that was for like multiple reasons, um, kind of the impact it was having on me mentally during the whole process. And also um, I was going through a grievance process with them at the, at the time and they were taking quite a long time to um, conclude that. And that was my main, I just wanted it. Sophie, did you have a union rep helping you? No, I've been doing it all on my own. Okay, did they, did they say anything to you that misled you about the time limit? For example, saying you don't need to put in a claim till the grievance process is finished? No, so they, they, they just said at the start that they'd get back to me in two weeks and I kept chasing it up. And, okay. Um, did you contact ACAS within the three months? I did, yeah. And they said that um, it, it wouldn't really go to a preliminary hearing until it's gone through the grievance process. Right. Did ACAS say anything to you about time limits for bringing a claim? Um, I can't really remember that, now. Because normally ACAS would tell you about that. Yeah. And if they did, uh, it's going to be harder, not impossible, but harder to get an extension of time if ACAS yeah. had told you about the time limits. Well, my main reason for going over the time limit was... Um, Kind of the way I was struggling mentally at the time. All right, um, Sophie, I'm, I'm just going to bring you back to the point because I do want to try and get an answer out of you. I'll, I'll come back to the, to, to the mental health issues in a moment, I promise. But I'm going to ask you again, did ACAS tell you about the time limit? Because you went very vague when I asked you and then tried I to move on to probably did, but I, I can't remember in, um, now. OK. But, yeah. Um, so you, you say that the reason you, you couldn't engage with the litigation is, is you were suffering from mental health issues. Yeah. Now, I, I don't want to sound like I'm challenging you on this, mm. um, but I am going to challenge you a little bit on it. Forgive me, Sophie. Mm-hmm. If you were capable of chasing up the grievance process and engaging with the grievance process and pressing them on the grievance process, presumably your mental health was sufficient so that you could do that. No, I do. I do get what you're saying. Um, I was chasing them up over the grievance process at the start when they said that I'd hear back in two weeks. I think I chased them up a couple of times in the first few months. Um, and obviously, I was out of work, so my main priority was trying to find a new job. Um, okay. And uh, like, uh, as well as the mental health impact, my um, aim wasn't to take it to a tribunal. It was just to get it resolved. Yeah, all the right. Grievance I'm, process. I understand. Uh, did did you go to the doctor about your mental health issues? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you were you formally diagnosed with anything? Yeah, and I uh, started taking medication, and everything. So I've got that. Okay, that's. Um, I've got that kind of proof on the GP. Yeah, it, it, don't take this the wrong way, but that's helpful from an extension of time point of view. If you were on medication, Sophie, I think if you were told about the time limit, it's going to be a bit of an uphill struggle to persuade a tribunal that you should get a five month extension of time because if you'd been a week or two late you'd have got the extension. Um, Five months, that's almost three times the amount you're allowed because you've got it in the month eight and it's meant to be in by month three. Mm. It is is a big ask. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying it's improbable. But I think think it's slightly less than 50-50 that you'll get that extension of time. It's well worth arguing. It's well worth pursuing. Don't give it up. I tell you if it was hopeless. It's not. But if I was, I, I think if there were five judges deciding this, three would decide it against you and two would decide it in your favour. Right. Would it go in my favour all that they took, you know, a much longer time than yes. they said they would about their grievance? Yes, it, it would. Um, how soon after you got the grievance result did you put in your tribunal claim? Oh, no, I put in the tribunal claim before the grievance. The grievance got back to me about a month, a year after okay. submitting okay. it. To yeah, I mean, the, the tribunal is not going to like that one little bit so they will be predisposed in your favour that's a big help the fact they took so long to deal with your grievance